Okay, hello and welcome back to Zonic TV, I'm Andrew Weir, and today I want to take a quick look at how to make shape keys on Blender 2.64. Uh, to do so, I'm firstly just going to explain what they are to any users that don't know uh, quite what they do. And what they do is for animations, uh, as opposed to just the basic ones, which is rotating, uh, or moving, uh, and scaling. Um, with shape keys, we can actually change the shape, like shape tweens in Flash, which I'm sure you've all used in school at some point. And um, from this point, uh, with the shape, we can move the vertices, go back into object mode, and obviously that is the permanent shape, so we can't animate it. So what we're going to need is a shape key in there from the basic cube, uh, which before we do add the shape key, it's probably best to model the shape into what you want first. So um, don't go modeling it after you've uh, made all the shape keys, though I, I will tell you how you can do that. And what we can do is we can, what, for my scene, what we're going to do is just going to add a ring loop there. And that's all I'm going to do. So that's, that's my scene set up. And what I'm going to do is then go into the object data which is where we can find the shape keys. I'm going to close all of them, which we don't need in this tutorial. And we can go to the shape keys, press the plus, just like it's material, and we get a basis, which at the moment, uh, an important thing to remember, is not a shape key. So if we go ahead and scale this, the basis will just act like it's uh, not, nothing at all has happened. Um, you can always model the shape still if you select the basis, but it's always good to model before you start adding the keys because we press one more time and we bring up all the key values. So from here, keep the key selected, make sure you, you know you haven't changed all these yet as it's not too important yet. Go into edit mode, do the animation that you want, for instance scaling that outwards. Take it back into object mode and you'll see that it snapped right back to the position that it was originally in. Um, and from here you've made the shape key. So, if we go and change the value, you'll see that it changes into that new shape. So it's very useful for things like facial animation and uh, some quite cool effects. But, if we then go and want to change our shape, which is still in its uh, this position when we've got that key selected, we can move it around and we're just changing the key, we're not actually changing the shape. So we need to select the basis if we want to change the shape and say actually wanted that vertical all the way over here. We can take that back into object mode, that's the default shape, go to the key and it might not come up with the right result that you wanted. So very important that you model your shape before the shape keys. Um, but from this point, we can actually go ahead and add another shape key, as you can use multiple shape keys for one shape. Um, and the new shape key will always take it back to the basis position, which is your original position. And from there, if you use it quite in a clever way, you can do things like move this middle ring upwards, giving you the ability to uh, make this shape like that, which isn't very useful on its own, but if we change the value of key 1 and combine it with this one here, we can get a slightly different result, which is kind of what we want. So, um, if you use that more with facial animation, you can do quite a lot of different facial expressions with uh, less keys. Uh, but you're also going to need to keyframe the animation, so that's the next point. And what we're going to do to do this is I'm just going to delete that key 2 and we're going to focus on key 1. That is the one that goes like this. And let's say we want the shape to just uh, bounce from that shape to that one and back down. We're first going to need to add a keyframe from this position, it's basic, so right click the value and click insert keyframe. We've got that right at the start there, take it to however far you want to go. Change the value to 100% or whatever percentage you wanted it on. Insert another keyframe. Let's go a little bit more along. Take the value back to zero. Insert another keyframe and play the animation. So let's press play on that animation now. 
see that it goes up, bounces into that shape, and then bounces back down. Which is obviously very useful in animation. So the final thing to mention is really easy, and all that is, is what when we change the value, uh, that might be too much, too many steps in between from 0 to 1. So what we can do is we can change the 1 to maybe 0 0.5, or maybe it's not enough. So the max value here can be 0 0.5, which means it goes a lot quicker, and it will only go half of the distance, which is what we might want at some point. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and there's going to be plenty more of these little videos coming ahead. And if you are a subscriber, then you can always put suggestions down into the, uh, into the comment box, and then I will eventually check them and maybe make a tutorial on them. So thanks for watching, I'll see you next video.